I raise up my voice, not so I can shout But so that women without voice can be heard We cannot succeed when women are back So let us work towards empowerment So let me say a woman's power, a woman's power, a woman's power There's no tool for development we better pass with my empowerment Woman are the backbone To every development Hello, my name is Rachel so Welcome to me today is uh, Shamin Shamin Madao Mudao Shamin Mudao So Shamin, can you just tell us about yourself Who you are, yeah, things like that Can you just tell us about yourself Yeah, hi, Vogue Thanks for having me <laughs> Well, um I'm the artist Okay Yes I am a thespian. Okay. I am into theatre. I love theatre and everything. And then uh, of late, basically, say to venture into films. All right. Yes. Uh, so I started doing theatre when I was 18 years old. Okay. I've been doing theatre ever since. Okay. Nearly 18. All right. And then um, last was it last last year? No, last of last year. I was given a lead role for an Mnet commission as a Bez Magic okay. for a film called Another World, which was airing goals and Bez Magic. So that was the first time that I actually did film. Okay, for everything that you have done, do you like have any awards that you have won? Or? Okay, uh, with theatre, I was part of a production uh, called Umbi Hogamadlin, okay. which took a NAMA award in 2015. Right. Yes. And then I've been nominated twice for Outstanding Theatre, Go Lyo Arts Awards. Yes. Okay, that's very nice. So can you just tell us, how do you feel, how does it feel to be a female artist? How does it feel, how do you feel about it? It's actually amazing. Okay. I'm <laughs> just <Honestly? laughs> to be honest with you, it's yeah. amazing uh -huh. to be in a field where people feel Uguti, it wasn't really meant to be Yes, like Uti, yeah. it, 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 people feel like Uti, it was a and everything, so it was amazing, standing, the ground, you know, saying, this is who I am, this is what I do, and this is what I like, but at the same time, it's challenging as a woman, okay. because, you know, with the stereotypes, they'll always be me, and yeah. people will have, I'm a perspective, so on Uti, on Uti, on Uti, who is venturing into theatre is this and that and this and that. So it's challenging to actually convince people who would know I'm not this kind of a person. But you don't really have to convince them, but well, that's how it is. Okay, so for you to be where you are like now, like today, obviously something inspired you or someone inspired, uh, inspired you. So I'm like, I'd like to ask Suti, who is your role model or what inspired you to venture into arts? <clears throat> That's a tricky question. <laughs> uh, okay, well, when you say primarant, yeah. I used to admire Ama dance groups. For okay. some reason, I thought I was going to be a dance. I don't know what I would happy, but oh well. So I used to watch Iyasa when I was growing up, like one day, Nyabenila Pana wearing in CC and everything. But then with time, Nabi saying Nanzile would say, it's not really my calling. Uh -huh. What I'm supposed to be doing was a staging. Okay. So as for my role model, yeah, that one. You know, I look up to a lot of people, but I'll tell you what he, I'll tell you about my inspiration. All right. People who inspire me, the family, okay. because they support me so much. Because of them, I get to continue doing what I love. You know, if not with a stage, in knowing that your dad is there is watching you, your siblings are there, they are watching yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now get a push and at the same time, not forgetting. Um, my family is a new toy yeah. from being an actress. Okay. People who believe in me, people right. who say, if we have a production in I mean, we are definitely going to watch it. Okay. They keep me going. Wow, that's wonderful. And then the last question, uh, okay, the last thing that I want you to say is, what do you say to a woman who's out there and uh, someone who's, who wants to venture into the arts industry? What, what's your final word to them? Your advice, kind of like? Okay. Um, as a woman or a young girl, just be yourself. If you are passionate about theatre, okay. just be yourself. Go out, Landela, your dream, and pursue your dreams, but just stay focused. Know why you are there, know why you are doing it. 
because if you can't answer or what you win the land you look at what you then you're in the wrong field okay yeah okay so shamine thank you so much for being here hopefully most of the people are going to are going to follow your steps and then thank you you're thank welcome you. So Mimi, can you maybe introduce yourself in detail, tell us where you are, where you're from, and your age, if you want. <laughs> okay, um, hi everybody, my name is Mubanga Natasha Tarupana. Okay. I am also known as Mimi Tarupana, the singer, songwriter, aspiring actress Mimi. <laughs> okay, so uh, before we go further, uh, like your stage name is you say like in quotes, you, your Mimi. Yes. What thought came into your mind? Like, why did you come up with the name Mimi? Where did you derive it from? What inspired you, like, to come up with this name? Okay, so uh, the name Mimi, well, it's a nickname from home. <laughs> okay. So um, everyone at home calls me Mimi, Mimi, Mimi. So it only made sense to remain as Mimi. Mimi That's loved Mimi. by everyone. Okay. So out there, they will love me too because my name is easy to say, catchy. Okay. So your your personality. Let's look at your personality, like the way you are dressed and everything, your nails. Does it say something? Does it speak to uh, whatever that you are doing in terms of art? Does it have to do with whatever that you are doing in art, or you are just dressed like I have to dress? I don't have to go around naked or something. <laughs> okay, the question is, I'm asking. <laughs> okay, well, um, this is just basically me every day. Okay. Mimi, the type of person Mimi is on and off the stage. She's prim, she's proper. She likes to get her nails done. She likes to get her makeup done. She likes to be in chilled clothing mm -hmm. as today. So, okay, see. this is me every day. Off stage. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. Okay, um, then, like you said, you're a songwriter and a singer as well, mm -hmm. of which there's are two different things. So, the first question will be what inspires you to write? Well, I'm inspired by everything okay. my surroundings. Um, it can be a bird chipping, it can be the love I see from a mother to a child. That's inspiring. So, Anything and everything inspires me. Daily situations, things I face, things my friends go through. Okay. Yeah. And then what inspires you to sing? <sighs> I don't know. Is I it maybe it. because you've got a good voice or you just want to see what you, you wrote about or what? No, I think, well, I've, I've been singing since I was young. Okay. So growing up, I would watch my parents in the church choir. Oh. I remember I think I was like four, three, four, five. And I wanted to be like them. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be like my mom singing so passionately. So that was my inspiration. My mom and my dad being in the church choir, being at home, listening to blues, R and B, gospel music on Sunday, Motown music. That's what I grew up to. So it was instilled in me to be a musician because of the way I grew up. Okay, I hear you mentioned something about change. Can you tell us how can you say like how can you put it all in artist and uh, and change? What word can you say to to someone who's willing to be an artist? What can you say to them about anything that has to do with change? Should they go as well, or they should not? Because you know, in this world, like in this era, there's that thing that artists are like these artists are like that. Some people they don't go to church, artists drink, artists are smokers, artists are drunkers. So what do you say about that? Okay, well, what I can say is, oh, I'm speaking from my experience. Yes. I'm a pastor's child. Oh. And when you say artists, they are gospel artists as well. Mm -hmm. So I don't just sing I, I, I don't put myself in one category and say I sing gospel or I sing R&B or I sing house. I'm a musician, first you of all. Everything that I sing everything that moves me at that time. 
if gospel moves me, why I don't sing gospel is I believe gospel is a form of ministry. So when I'm singing in church, that's my worship to God. When I'm now singing gospel outside, that's a, it's a bit different for me. So my advice to someone out there who's a Christian or who wants to do gospel music, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying do it knowing why you sing gospel. Okay. So like uh, you say that uh, you you write uh, you write and you sing. Um, based on the inspirations from the surroundings and experiences, whatnot, right? So, rating up to a hundred percent, right? What, what can we say? Like, what inspires? Is it pain? Pain inspires you to what extent? Love inspires you to what extent? Like, we we dividing it into fifty fifty. There is the good part and the bad part, right? So, I want you to rate it like uh, concerning to your works, whether writing or whether seeing him, right? We can say that the bad things that are happening in, in like around the world, right? You've done like how many percent of it? Okay, well, first of all, yeah. <laughs> I'm, new. <laughs> I'm new at this writing thing, mm -hmm. so it, it, it's not like I woke up one day and I started writing a whole adult song or a whole Beyonce type of thing, no. I'm, I started writing last year, okay? So, baby steps. So baby right steps. now, um, I'd say. Uh, okay, no, it's fine. You will yeah. know. You will uh, know. I'll know. And then, like, uh, is there like like some kind of diet that you have to stick to as a, as a, as a musician, so that you perfect your voice, so that you moderate or something like that? Is there some kind of diet that you have to stick to? Um. Yeah. Not really. Well, okay, for me, I I take honey, okay. I take ginger, I make mix my own concoction because mm -hmm. I overwork my voice. I am also a backing vocalist by profession, so I am always singing. Okay. So for my voice to remain intact, I have to take these precautions not to damage my voice further. I heard you also say that you are an aspiring actress. But then you put it like maybe you are in aspiring, maybe you're not <laughs> even that. But anyways, let's not talk about that. Uh, as you say that you are okay. What I can say is to you like keep on keeping on, that like, pursue your thing, like your aspiration when it comes to acting, or you will get there. And then the other thing is like uh, in your industry, in the in this industry, art industry, when in your songs and everything, have you ever faced some maybe some challenges like people pulling you back or financial uh, restraints? Things like that. Yes, definitely. I feel like everyone goes through um, some sort of constraint as an artist. Um, for me, it's been everything. It's been financial. It's been other females looking down upon you. It's been the males trying to dominate over you. So everyone goes through that type of experience. What I say is, you just have to put in the work, work harder, and rise above it. And now that you mentioned the issue of uh, the male dominating, that's the reason why we brought about this uh, Hair Wednesday, yes. so that we equip you and we equip the next female artist who's probably watching this video right now. So, um, in ending, um, what who are the people that you would like to say, no, no I, you acknowledge this person because maybe they did this to you, they, maybe they uplifted you in your career or something like that? Um, okay, well, I have several people. Yeah. <laughs> so I can just choose one, I'm sorry. Okay. First okay. of all, I'd like to acknowledge my parents uh -huh. because it's because of them that I'm here. Yeah. I, the permission they gave me to pursue music as a career in Zimbabwe, first mm -hmm. of all is such a privilege. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Okay, so now that you're mentioning the issue of you still being here, you still being in Zimbabwe, like do you dream of going maybe to other countries? Oh, but we can put it this way, where do you see yourself in the next maybe three years? In the next three years, I see myself um, producing music. Uh -huh. Not just um, writing or singing, I want to be able to produce music and to empower other female younger artists like myself to know about financial literacy in the entertainment industry, uh, producing, managing, branding, so that they are, they are given the things to equip them to be better artists.
things that we weren't given when we, we started out. Yeah. So in the next three years, hopefully, that will be up and running because I've started. You've started. So you've started, you've started, right? So how long have you been in this industry? Okay, um, I've been in this industry since 2015. 2015. I've been, so, okay, well, from 2015, actually 2013. Oh. Uh, 2013, I started out as a backing vocalist. From backing, I only started doing um, solo. I only started working on my solo career 2017 into 2018. Okay. So. Okay, that's that's wonderful. So yeah, for those couple of years, any certificates, any awards, yeah, any of those. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Well, you yet to get. I'm yet to get. Yet I've to been get. nominated, however, for um, uh -huh. well, last year I was nominated for two Skies Metro FM Awards, okay. which was um, outstanding artist, female artist, and outstanding okay. best um, house song. This year I was uh, nominated for a uh, Royal BAAs, which was an um, outstanding new camera. So across we are here to see the Skies Metro this year, across the ocean. Now you will make it just be. Okay, so what's, the, uh, what's, what's your last word to the audience? Okay. Uh, my last word to any aspiring female artist, even male artist, yeah. put in the work. Working hard pays. Be committed. Consistency is key and always look to God for guidance. Okay, so guys, always look to God for guidance. This was me, Vita Rukwana. Thank you very much. A woman's power, a woman's power, a woman's power. There's no tool for development. We better pass woman empowerment. Woman are the backbone to every development. So I think wisely. So let me say a woman's power, a woman's power, a woman's power. There's no tool for development. Okay, so right now I have a seagull, Novio. Hi. So Novio, hello. Thank you. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. So can you just briefly tell us who Novio is, what she does? Alright, well Novio is um by birth Novio Seagull do it. And Sigil is not my nickname, mind you. Sigil is my birth name. It's in my mm. ID, national ID. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, so I was named Novio Sigil Dubin. And I'm 20 years old and a mother of one. So I'm not only a singer, uh, but I'm also a songwriter, a dancer, as well as an actress. So, yeah, basically that's me. Also, Bubbly. <laughs> Lovable. Yeah, we see that. We see that. Uh, pint size, mm -hmm. energetic, <laughs> crazy. That's me. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so how, that, how did it start, your career and everything? How did it start? Well, I'll say, um, professionally, I started in 2009. Um, I remember after writing my O-levels, um, I, I, I went to St. Columbus High School, so I passed by Ama course, so every day, literally, and I would, I would get inspired seeing people, you know, doing dances, they doing this and that. They okay. so I remember meeting Bo, uh, both both Begazela, Begazela, mm -hmm. and, and and because we went to the same church. I remember uh, actually uh, backing one of his songs, Begazela. Actually, mm -hmm. by then before it actually blew out, that song comes as far as two thousand and eight. Right. If you didn't know. So the love was already what was already there. I grew up singing in a church with my twin sister. I remember would call each other up up front and compose a song in the morning and then sing it later on in the afternoon. So because we had so much love for the arts, 2009 we saw I saw myself uh, doing a, a, um, a radio. Let me say let me say doing some joining a club called Mambata Actor Center where I started learning a few basics and professionally in the industry in terms of acting as well as music is concerned. And then um, I did some radio dramas in that program and th some that actually played on, on radio. Okay. So there was Lutando, there was Dream Team. So, um, oh, and then eventually I saw myself joining Indom Zumkangala 
in that time, around that time, because when we were doing the radio drama, Butando, we met Sandra Ndemile. She was apparently looking for girls to, to you know, to, for, to groom and have okay. join a group which was uh, going to China at that time. But we ended up not going. And then later on, 20. 2011. Okay, on that note, have you ever been like uh, to outside yes, Zimbabwe? Yes, I've been. I've been. So in that that that's two, that's 2011. Joining Intel's of uh, led us to go to okay. Austria, Germany, oh, uh, wow. Russia as that's well great. in the same year. Mm -hmm. So and then that's how I got into the professional, you know, uh, world in terms of music as well as dance. Okay. Then continued until. I saw myself with Umoja 2012, Umoja Cultural Flying Carpet. It was an international okay. type of thing. We, we, I auditioned as a singer as well as a dancer, okay. qualified, uh, did some tours as well. We went to Norway, we went to to Mozambique, we did South Africa as well. Yeah. So the journey continued. The love for music was there, the love for acting, the love for, for dancing was there. 2014, me and my sisters in Tombi, my twin, and then okay. Kake, my cousin, we started our own band <laughs> called One Stand. One stand. So we decided so, no. be, before you go any further, do you have uh, a role model or someone who inspires you to do all those things? Oh, yes, who doesn't? <laughs> okay. I've, I've like a ton, tons, tons of people you that I look up to. One, one person. I'll say my bestest, my bestest is Lira. Okay. I love, I love her music. She inspires me. I've, I've, I've followed up her story up to how she blew out as well. She started off as a backing vocalist and then, you know, right. there she went boom. She's one of the best jazz artists in, in, in the country, in in the world, in the world. like okay. I say. So she's one of my inspirations, honestly. She's natural, she's herself, she's um, bold, she's beautiful. She's everything that she wants to be. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So the, <laughs> the next you question that I'm going to ask is, uh, do you have like any awards that maybe you've attained, maybe in the city or in Zimbabwe or like even outside the world, do you have any awards or said it cares what you, what you have in Seagull? Yes, yes, of course I, I do. Um, um, I've got now my, my single AAO, actually brought five awards. Um, wow. we've, we've got um, um, the Star FM Awards, okay. which are the national awards uh, for best um, best house song. And then we've got the BAAs for song of the year as well as best female artist, outstanding art female artist. And then we've got two Star Metro Awards and yeah, for best female and best house song as well. And then of course other certificates that I you know, got in the long run. As I, as I was growing into my career. Okay, so I heard oh, you say you were twenty. And twenty fifteen, Starbright, I was wow. the overall winner okay. for Starbright. That's great. I heard you say you are twenty. Are you at school or are you just doing up? I, I'm not twenty. I'm actually twenty eight. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yes, I'm twenty years and old. I'm twenty eight years old. So, yes. what can you say? How can you inspire a, a lady who's out there, a woman who's remember this thing is for her Wednesday. We take her Wednesday. So, what words can you pass to the next woman who wants to venture into art, or to the next woman who's just interested in arts? What can you say to them? All right, I'd say um, you know the art industry is brutal. It's very hard. It's not as easy as eating cake. So what I did with myself, I, I looked at what I was so good at, and I realized I was like good at good in arts. So I decided let me fully equip because let me fully equip myself because many a times we are look the women in the art industry okay. let's just say artists let's say we are looked at uh, down, down upon and, yeah. and, and people don't take our work seriously yeah, so i decided that. let me let me let me take myself to school and actually uh, school myself around that um, what i'm good at which is music and and i did i'm studying sound engineering and music production at the college of creative arts africa so for those out there that also want to be taken seriously maybe and just so as you actually go out there and present yourself with confidence and and actually carry yourself with power, power go to school, school yourself, 
destroy the mindset that people have that people in the art industry are not educated yeah. we can do it we are also for us to be creative like this it means we are we are intelligent enough okay. so for us to 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 leave a mark let's uh, let's school ourselves let's oh. modify our talent with with knowledge even so it's all about having confidence in yourself and whatever that thank you, you very do. much and, and, and schooling yourself yes yeah. and then also telling yourself you can do it no matter what don't let anybody out there make you think otherwise make you think less of yourself make you think that you can't do it no okay. you can do it you've got it it's a you <laughs> okay. you have the power okay thank you so much for being here obviously yeah thank you so much for having me you're welcome lovely Power, a woman's power, a woman's power. There's no two for development. We better pass woman empowerment. Woman are the backbone to every development. So I think wisely. So let me say, a woman. Okay, so now I have Pepe. Pepe, she um, both. Eh. <laughs> Hopefully, I pronounced your name correctly. Yeah. Uh, but even if I did it, please forgive me. Yeah? <laughs> it's okay. So, can you please tell us briefly about yourself, who you are, and maybe uh, what you do? Yeah. Okay, I'm a NAMA award winning actress, a two time NAMA award winning actress. Okay. And I am the only female in Bulawayo. Oh. Yeah, female actress who's got a NAMA. Two numbers. Only female. <laughs> my bad boy. Only female. Yes. It's <laughs> about two female numbers. Today. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And I am a singer and I'm also a songwriter. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's great. So how did the journey begin? Where and where did it begin? It began in school mm -hmm. when I was still uh, in primary school. I did everything there. I was into drama, I was into acting, I was into sports, I was very active. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I do something and uh maybe people can applaud me, you wanna And then I actually thought like no, this is my thing. Yes, this is definitely my thing. Okay. Then I went on went to Bambata Actors Center, which is, which was directed by Ustik Simhlanga. Those are the people who groomed us, or oh, Kwanti Mhlanga, or oh, Mambazo, Mateso, oh, Ray's Dawn, mm -hmm. um, or oh, Richard Ndovo, Luisi. There are a lot of people who groomed us in this industry. And I am because of them. I am I'm an artist because of those people. Okay. Um, yeah. Can you, can you put it this way? You are a female artist because yeah. of those people. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So and then the other thing uh, that I would love to ask is, uh, you say you've got a NAMA award. What other awards or maybe certificates that you have with you? What are, what other awards do you have? Um, I I, I attained a a um. A French award. Um, I, I was interested in competition uh, in Alain's Francais French competition, okay. and I became second. Actually, have the award at home. Oh, yes, wonderful. and you know other sports activities. Like I was into netball. Sports as well. Yes, I've got a lot of certificates of netball. Okay. Yeah, because so, <laughs> I'm an active person. So okay, yeah. okay. So it means art calls for uh, physical things like. Calls for a female artist to be active as yes. well in other things. Yes. Okay. So, have you ever been like in other countries? Yes, I've traveled with other countries, um, and uh, I've been to Germany. Mm -hmm. I've been to Russia. I've been to Austria. I've been to United States of America, and uh, Ivory Coast. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, what do you see yourself maybe in the next coming? Let me give you a choice. You know, I always dream of um, doing my own thing bigger and better, especially on the music side, because now I'm, I'm concentrating more on the music side. So I just wish my music could grow and people, you know, balala and follow me everywhere and be on bigger stages. That's my dream. I can't really say in two years' time I'll be here and there, but I'm working on it. I'm working just making my brain grow. All right, and that's very great. And then the other thing is, uh, is 
how how do you feel about being an artist like being a, a f that female artist that we're talking about today that we are branding now mm -hmm. uh, how does it feel to be an artist an artist um maybe quoting it as a female artist it's quite exciting okay i think it's exciting i, I know people always say females are not given the platform to do this and that sometimes you have to really work you and really have own. to work hard and be the great great you know okay um and i think i've done that i've worked and worked and worked and i'm here today i am attaining awards because of 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 my work. So I think it's quite interesting because I get the attention that quality. Oh. <laughs> uh, this person is actually female and yeah. she's doing this and you she's know it's possible anyone can needs. be a president. Yeah. Now seven There are lots of challenges that we face okay. obviously as women but um, I think you just have to overcome those challenges and do what's best for you and just be disciplined. Okay, so you are here today in Skirka. You've attained all those awards, the numbers, the French, what, 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 what. <laughs> so who do you look up to like every day when you were coming you're like, oh, me, that person inspires me, Jim, that person, they are my role model. <sighs> A lot of role models. <laughs> I've got... <sighs> Even South African people and uh, Zimbabwe, I don't know. <laughs> you just, and you know, every day when I wake up, okay. I I see a lot of people on TV. Okay. I see a lot of artists, but I always tell myself I just have to work hard and be great, great not anyone else. Okay, and yes. then yeah. Yes. So you just do you in the art industry. Yes, yes. So then the for the fun of it, I like to ask, what's what's the first thing that you do in the morning when you wake up? First thing that I do, I check my phone. Okay. My WhatsApp. <laughs> my messages. I even go on Google and Google things and uh, Facebook, social media. Okay. And that's the first thing I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, considering all those things that you say from the beginning of this interview up to where we've ended, uh, what can you say to a female artist who's out there who's probably willing to venture into the industry, probably willing to maybe have that attention that you say you have, who's probably uh, in need of the opportunities that you get and probably they want to travel outside the country, what do you uh, say to them? I think you should educate yourself first. Okay. Look for the right groups, for, look for a great team, and um, be disciplined. Okay. That's the most important thing. Determination. Um, if you're not disciplined, you are chavalala. Or oh. if you don't have passion, you are chavalala. Oh, my chavalala. Yes. <laughs> my chavala. Instead of you being the lady that we try to build now, the yes. woman that we're trying to build mm. now, you are going to be my chavala. Exactly. As soon as my As men are the chavala, <laughs> they need to. <laughs> really work hard and okay. you must be passionate about what you do. Go pair and then everything will be fine. Alright. Yeah. Okay, thank And Google you. things. Yeah. It's so everywhere. It's technology. Mm. From yeah. art and technology. Yes. Yes. Hey, alright. I, I get you. Mm. Hopefully the woman who's out there who's listening to you <laughs> is inspired. Hopefully. I hope so too. Okay, thank you Kaka for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. It's a woman's power, a woman's power, a woman's power. There's no tool for development. We better pass woman empowerment. Woman are the backbone to every development. So I think wisely. So let me say a woman's power, a woman's power, a woman's power. There's no tool for development. Uh, good people with me today is the Mark Bunny. Remember. Mark, okay. remember it's her Wednesday episode number six. Yeah, so Lee, can you just tell us about yourself, where you are, where you're from, yeah, everything about you. Okay, my name is Lee Makani, also known as the Future Baby Mama. I am an artist, a performer, a songwriter, a singer, aspiring producer, and hopefully soon a video director. Um, I started singing in 2017 it was not my really wasn't my first career choice because at the time i was studying uh computer engineering 
right? But then my mom passed away and a lot of things happened. We had to move from South Africa to Zimbabwe, so I couldn't really pursue my studies. And the only thing that I could do while I was here is be myself. So I started singing. I didn't think of um, pursuing singing as a professional career, but once I was in it, I saw that I had quite a lot of potential because I'd covered a lot of gap in a short space of time. Okay. So I decided, hey. So now, like you mentioned something about profession, you taking music as a profession. Mm -hmm. So you say you, you, you don't necessarily take music as a profession. No, so no. then what do you take it as? It's my career. It's, 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 a, career. it's my it's my life. So it's my profession. It's, it's my career. It's my life. It's, yeah. I live, breathe, wake up, eat, sleep, music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's nice. That's why I'm trying to venture into a lot of things, also business okay. in the music industry. Um, I opened with my partner. We are creating a label called okay. Destiny Creative. So I'm the first artist in the label. Okay. In the long run, probably when I grow as an artist, I'm going to be signing more artists into the label and grow the label as we go. Okay, so you, you are here to say that you write songs and then you perform. Uh, you perform local or you... Go ever outside the country. I've performed outside the country. Okay. I've performed locally. I've performed in Harare. I've performed quite a lot of places. I so take shows. talking about you performing outside the country, which countries have you been to? I've performed in South Africa and I've performed in Botswana. Wow. Okay, that's great. So, how many songs do you have? Or how many albums do you have? I have one album and an EP. So my okay. first, uh, my debut project was an EP called Bakandi Nyepira, that was in 2017, and then this year I released a project called Sana. Wait, you say the project is called Wakandi Nyepira, the Wakandi. first one. So it's in Shona, so you mix uh, like languages, you sing in English, do you sing in Debele? I sing English, Debele, Shona, Tosa, Sutu, if you need to be, I'm flexible with, <laughs> oh, really? with languages. Okay, oh, that's Great. So you say you got um, a lot of albums and uh, things. Mm -hmm. And then the other question that I'd like to ask you, like, what what brought you into this art industry? Or oh, you mentioned, okay, you mentioned that. So what inspires you to write? Is it like the right now you, you see the economic situation in Zimbabwe? What can you say about it? Like, you know, artists write like based on the economic situation, they end up opting to some, to some other stuff. Stuff like sleeping with the manager, sleeping with the uh, manager's assistant, things like that. What do you say about the Zim economy and uh, the life of the artist? How do you relate the two? I feel like the Zim economy is hard on everyone. It's not just the artist, it's for everyone. Okay. So as much as other people are able to make it work, mm -hmm. an artist also is meant to be able to make it work. Like you say, we do take shows from outside the country, so that's how we start making our revenues. Because in the country right now, there's not a lot of people who are willing to pay the rate cut that we're charging. So mm -hmm. I'm taking shows from, others, from outside the country, just like teachers can go and look for jobs outside the country. or. Okay, like you mentioned that you have been to other countries, you've been to other cities, but they say that uh, most of the artists, whenever they go, maybe outside the country, maybe they, most of them, they are in relationship with the bosses and uh, what we call directors. Is it true? I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if it's true because okay. it's never applied to me. Okay. Yeah. If you Unfortunately, yes. we don't know if you're. But I believe you. You're you have to believe me. <laughs> <laughs> you have okay. to believe me. So remember, it's her Wednesday. Hashtag, we take it's hashtag her Wednesday. It's my Wednesday, yours, and the next yes. female artist was out. So what, what are your words to her? Um, I just want to say just be yourself hmm? and drink a lot of water. Oh, because you're going to be too busy and you're going to be no, no okay. man business. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Just be yourself, stay in your lane, and keep doing you. And you know, someone's purpose is a personal thing, it's a personal journey. So if you mind your own business, stick in your lane, you're gonna get to where you're meant to go faster than if you try and look way everyone else is going. I like that. Yeah. So like, give us your maybe where people can find you, your contact details, and everything else. Okay, my name is Lima Kani on Facebook, Lima Kani on Instagram, and Lima Kani on Twitter.
I'm also on Snapchat, but I'm not sure if there's a lot of people on Snapchat. <laughs> also, I have a YouTube channel, Lee Makani. Okay, so thank you for coming to this interview. Thank you. May God bless you. So let me say, a woman's power, a woman's power, a woman's power. There's no two for development. We better pass my empowerment. A woman's power, a woman's power, a woman's power. There's no 